Hey Team Priscilla! Welcome back to another epic vlog. Woo! Today we decided to take you guys down memory lane to yeah. see how many of you are as old as us. So if you guys are familiar with any of the things we're talking about, please do let us know in the comments below. Please do, because we feel old. <laughs> Before we get started with today's video, we want to give a shout out to our favorite comment from the last video. And it is from Danielle Madure. I hope I said your surname right. It says, love the makeup and the personality. Thank you guys so Thanks much. Thanks so much, man. Why do I say you guys? It's one person. If you want to get a shout out in our next video, make sure you comment on this video. The first one I want to say is Babalu. Oh, bubble, bubble, bubble. Bubble was so that. nice. It was so nice. You know, just when you buy it, you get into the center. And you could only, like, you mostly found it at garages, right? And, like, those little tuck shops. So, yeah. when I, where I grew up. I like, think you had them everywhere, but for us, it was at the garages and yeah. the tuck shops. They were really good. Really, really good. Who remembers the Sasco Sam bread man? So, I actually don't really remember. Really? It. I feel like he came to our school. So, this was one of your points that you put down. Tell us. Yeah. I think the the character, the mascot, came to our school a couple of times. It was obviously dressed like bread, and then the man had legs. <laughs> but it was the Sasco Sam like mascot person Sounds that familiar. came to school. Yeah. Scary. That, that is oh, weird. Actually. So, my mother always tells people the story. When I was younger, we went to the shopping center and bought some and was there, and I started crying. Maybe because he was yellow. I don't know. Was he even yellow? I can't even remember. I don't know. Dub. Mm -hmm. Guys, oh you my do word. not have a childhood if you do not know Dub. Dub who was didn't annoying. know how to say bye. Yeah, bye now. Bye. 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 Exactly. Bye. bye now. No, Dub was annoying. I did not like Dub. That was on Tube, eh? I mm. don't think I really watched SABC 2. I watched a lot of SABC 1, like Wild Room and stuff. Yeah, I you remember, remember Wild, Wild Room. Room? Wild Room was cool. So I wrote a letter. <laughs> I wrote a letter to the people on Wild Room. I just remember I wrote on unlined paper. And back in the day, if you could write on unlined paper, it was like yeah. you were but the bomb. Even now, you still can. You have a pretty. No, pretty now I can. But back then, my writing went like this on the page. Okay. It was funny. And I remember uh, Sipo, but then it was Saifo. And then there was an the Indian guy, Jiggy, there for a while. And then Kali, yeah. Kali Fields. Holy moly. Oh, I actually don't molies. really remember holy moly. I remember holy moly. More like when we used to go to the movies, getting it at the movies. Yeah. Maybe we were poor and never went to the movies. <laughs> I don't remember Holy Molies that much. I like I have like maybe like one or two memories of Holy Molies, but I don't remember it that much. <laughs> Who remembers the Danon yogurt that used to come in the squares, but it was like a triangle, and half of the triangle yeah, was the yogurt, and the other half was like the sprinkles, and then you'd flip it over. Did you start the by eating the sprinkles first? The yes. Chocolate balls, so whatever. Yeah. They were yeah. That was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. I think you do still get some version of that, like a Woolies version, but not the one that we grew up with. I think there's this whole thing of stuff back then and now, like even Cocoa Pops, I told you. It doesn't yeah, taste the same Cocoa as what Pops it is back then. Cocoa Pops definitely doesn't taste the same. Even Rice Krispies, I tried it. It's yeah. not the same. It's not. Even money is not the same. <laughs> back in the day, 100 Rand was amazing. Now it's like, okay, a couple of broccolis. Pay phones. Yeah. Pay do some of you even know what payphones are? I don't think so. I haven't seen them around the area a lot. I'm sure some places still have it. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people. Like on TV and stuff, you see London. They have a lot yeah, of Yeah, but our payphones aren't like London's no. payphones. No. We, we have the green and blue telecom and ones. Yeah, those telecom cards. The cards, yeah. yeah. People used to collect what them. What a throwback. Yeah. They were, I was one of them. I don't think it was much of a throwback because I think we were in matric and I went to my grandparents' house and we were walking around the streets and stuff and I didn't have my cell phone with me and I wanted to phone you so my cousins and I went to the pay phone but we couldn't remember your number but then again that's because it's a really small place and it's quite old and not as modern right so you don't see pay phones at all it's a golf estate in the estate. metro city it is a golf estate fine it is a really nice place <laughs> oh this one's gonna be fun but this one is so nice I don't 2000s. know why they closed you will never know why did they close pay for a pay phone <laughs> What's this thingy? Mr. Video and Video Town. Who knows about them late fees? You, Rentals. you would know about late fees. Mm -hmm. I was always on time with everything, even my library books. Do libraries still exist? Do people I wonder, go to libraries? I wonder. Guys, yeah, Mr. Video was fun and they always had like a gumball machine. Oh, they did a little snacks and, and sweets snacks. at the front, yeah. yeah. But that only came towards the end when the DVDs were becoming obsolete and they needed to make more money. Yeah, true. Tazos. I remember them. <sighs> 
I was I was obsessed. Was were Tazos like its own thing or did they come with Dragon Ball Z's on them? Characters Dragon Ball. <laughs> That's what tells us are. Oh, okay, are. okay, okay, but those are the round metal ones. Yeah. What about those ones that you build like that? Were they also called tassels? I don't think those were called tassels. Are you talking about a puzzle? Piece? They were also puzzle evil. Pieces. No, you used to find them in chips. Tassels were I evil. Think, I think those were Pokemon. Oh, the ones where you build like things so. like little I think things. So. Those things were cool. Yeah, they were. But but tassels, I remember they were really cool. I would like look around for loose change in the house just to save up to buy like a packet of chips just with a strip on it the worst the worst worst would be when you get a tassel which was the same as <laughs> you already had and, and you've been snap. waiting to open a new yeah, packet exactly. of chips yeah but why were they evil i feel like everything was evil back in the day yeah, probably not. guys wait who remembers computers <laughs> but with a box at the back and with the CPU, CPU, eh? the yeah. tower thing, we have just like oh. switch it on at the bottom, and then the Separate mouse with the cords, board. one for the yeah. computer screen, one for the CPU. I remember, and I Tough have times. I have this thing called what was it? Educom. He also came to our school. I feel like a lot of masters came to our school. It was this little um, like a cartridge. Did we have cartridges in those things? I think no. It was a CD. It was a CD that you put into yeah. the the tower. And it was like, Ed, you come, and it taught I, the kids how I to like do not know this, color Ed, and stuff. It was it was very funny, very very funny. I love you, Ed. I love you. TV games were the ish. I don't think we're in focus. Are we? We are. Yeah. yeah. So I remember. What is your favorite game? Mario. 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 Super Mario. But I could never get like I'd get through the whole first level, and then when you had to jump and slide on the pole, I'd always go like. Mm. The, so like, you you literally complete the whole level and get to the part where you claim your points and fail. No, I never fail. No, I just don't like, excel. Yeah. And then I go to the green level and I hated that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, when the music changes, <laughs> it was hectic. I don't like that one. Have you, and, and I think yeah, I only yeah, got Luigi. No, yo. Oh. And then who played as Luigi? Guys. If maybe on. if you had a sibling, but I was I was always the eldest one with amongst my cousins, so I was always Mario. Sweet. And then you got to the dragon one, the white and red level. I think I only got there like once or twice. Oh man. Who? Who remembers the game with, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but you got a gun in the set as well and you would shoot these the ducks. ducks as they would fly. And a little, and little dog would come up like, yeah. hey. <laughs> and laugh at you. I that was the that. worst. And that, uh, the one with the, the battleship, is a battleship. Yeah, I remember battleship. Where you like shoot the tankers and stuff. And I remember Tetris. Tetris was cool. Tetris was but cool. But that one with the, sh- with the battleships, they used to go I know, like. I know exactly what you're Yeah, I don't know what they called. Also. That Gal- was cool. Galaga or something. Galaxy Gal- something. Galaxy something, yeah. But now here's the real test. <laughs> How many of you played TV games on your parents' TV with the box at the back until it got discolored? Our TV had a big pink blob on it because I used to play TV games on and it. And like parents would be mourning forever. Can you get off that thing? With How the much cartridges. Can you get off here? Yeah. The cartridge. Cartridges are so cool, man. <sighs> I wonder if they still and, have those and things. And it was always 999 million games, yeah. <laughs> 939 games. Oh. Did I say that right? How do you remember that? I just always think it was like nine. Nine, 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 nine. No, just like I'm exaggerating. It's just like nine, 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 nine. But nine, you nine, said thirty nine, and fifty. This <laughs> But then our TVs also had like a huge box thing behind yeah, it. Yeah, our TVs, our TVs were huge. If TVs you look at like huge. the evolution of TVs, it's crazy. Like now, you just TVs are curved. Oh, Curve TV, oh. exactly. And they're so thin. They're so thin, it's super crazy. thin. crazy. I mean, your cell phone is basically like yeah. a TV. It's crazy. Back then, it was like a huge <laughs> box. With Back a in our day, LCD, there were yeah. boxes on our screen. Screen, yeah. It was funny, and the button that you had to press in, and our oh, button thing came yes. out. So there was just like a red thing that used to stick out there. That and D- DVD players as well. I don't think those TVs had remotes, or maybe our parents just got rid of the remotes oh, and we used the children them. as remotes. Probably, probably. DVD players. Oh. <laughs> There's like a meme with the DVD thing bouncing like. I think I'm getting ahead of myself, but I'm sure it's on the list VCRs since we talked about <laughs> it. Guys, VCRs. You will never know. Okay, that. here are some of my favorite. Okay, you go first. What are some? What were some of yours? Did you have? Not, not, not that I can really remember. Probably cartoons. A few cartoons. So the one that I'm the saddest about that we definitely had. We had a lot, a lot of home videos. Yeah. And I think they got rid of it. I, don't, I, I wanted to Whoa. take them to convert them into DVDs somehow. I'm sure there's someone that can do that. But I think my auntie and them de- uh, deleted it. I think they threw it all away when they were cleaning up the house. If you guys still have VCRs and videotapes, let us know. Comment but down I had below. A, I had an Aladdin one where it was with a bird. I think her name was Thundra, the huge bird. Thundra? I had a Teletubbies one where on the TV they'd click click on like press on it and it'll be about a girl with her it was about a girl with her tap shoes yeah. 
and I had Thumbelina, I had Pocahontas, I had nice. You, you have you always liked Pocahontas? Yeah. Okay. It's one of those movies that you'd watch like countless times. This one is actually still in circulation. Free for all magazine. Yeah. My sister said they still get it in school. I definitely remember that. It was quite yeah. cool crosswords, some general knowledge. I don't think we got them Terps. in high school. Yeah, I was I remember getting them in before you joined, so like Grade 8, grade 9. Grade 8 and grade 9, yeah. I think that's where it stops because I also remember getting it in grade 8 and grade 9. I remember your TV and Wild Room though. Because one time, I don't know if I told the that story, was... but one time I thought, I... this is the most embarrassing story ever. It's, it's a seller banners. I didn't know that to be a caller on the show. <laughs> I love, I love, love, love the story, please go. I didn't know that to be a caller on the show, you had to physically phone them. Back in the day, on TVs with the big boxes, I went to the little speaker <laughs> and I was speaking through the speaker. Speaking I'm like, hello, Carly, TV, can you guys. hear me? Saifo, oh. can you hear me? And that caller who called in, their connection was bad. So the presenters <laughs> on Wild Room were like, hello, yes, caller, we can hear you. Selena caller, I was like, hi guys, can you hear me? Can you? I was devastated, guys. Okay. Devastated. You made it through. Wild Room. Made it through. Wild Room, guys. You made it through, baby. Wild Room. Dragon Ball Z. I just know it was before Goku, Days of Our Lives. Gohan, Vegeta, Piccolo. Piccolo. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't oh. Chi Chi Fufu Fufu Chi Chi? F who's Fufu? Ah, Chi Chi is Goku's wife. Chi Chi. <laughs> so the Nagas are me. The only person that could defeat Goku. <laughs> of course. So it's yes. oh man, Dragon Ball Z. That was that was that was it, man. Yo. How did you feel? Hey, Tell us. So my brother and I were really young. It's not like we didn't have furniture, but we had to be seated on the floor, on a pillow, about half a meter away from the TV. <laughs> and our mother would always shout at us, You're sitting too close to the TV! Do you think you're gonna hear it first when you're sitting closer? Uh, yeah, no, I really never watched um, Dragon Ball Z. I was into Spongebob and then I used to watch Days of Our Lives with my grandparents. I've also watched Your a couple Days of Our Lives, Bold and Beautiful. Guys, I think, I think was, the adults would just hog the TV and we'd be there. Yeah. Probably. Like four, maybe two years ago, they took, um, I think it was Bold and Beautiful. They took Bold and Beautiful off, off SABC and I was so devastated. <laughs> Even though I haven't watched it in years. But now, 50 but years later, they all still look the same. How? Yeah. How? But I, I really used to like watching Bold and Beautiful Days of Our Lives. I used to watch Isilingo back in the day also. Generations oh, is back, was good. back, back in the day. So, like when Karabo was there and so, Archie. Sorry to cut you off. I just remember Blood and Water. That's Archie. Archie Morocca. Does say his name right? Probably. Wait, the father? KB's father? Yes, yes, I, I recognize him. I recognize him. So, I remember watching Isidingo when Selena and I were still dating. I'd go over to our house to visit and I'd probably like stay to eat supper, yeah, chill. Oh, cool. That's the dad from Europa, yesterday. Yeah. So I would chill, eat supper. Um, sometimes her grandparents would be visiting from Richards Bay. I'd and go that's over. the only time. And I that's the only time we'd watch Isidingo. And it was actually cool, like a couple of episodes cool. getting into it. Yeah, it was cool. Isidingo was cool. Do you know generations back in the day when Karabo was there and it was what was it back of the moon back at the moon no, that guy at a club you never watched generations no. did you do you, I think they still do make this though cigarette I've sweets. seen them around I it's have. like a hard candy sweet that we used, it doesn't even look like a cigarette it's just white long. with a little red tip it was white and it had a little red tip oh I thought we were talking about those colorful ones those like thin long ones. Oh, they, they were white, know. they were thin, and they had like a little red. Mine didn't front. have that. Me too. Ah, what was your mixer name? <sighs> Probably something dumb like Chips Mine was, 27 or. Mine was Lil Flirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I even had a song to go with it. What was that song? Close. I think your best friend was Trade Post and Joe Bang. No, I had okay, one stop. boyfriend on this group, another boyfriend on that group. Guys. I was in with the Mixit boyfriends back in the day. So I had to hide Mixit from my parents. We yeah, we all hate Mixit. Mix it. Like it would be in a folder, in a folder, within a folder, under a folder, in gallery. A folder, in gallery. Yeah. So I remember one time also, like when all of the stuff was happening with me in high school. I think the media hyped it to be bad. Yeah, like, definitely. Okay, I have one. For the ladies, I don't think the boys did this. The boys probably did it to their school bags. Who remembers having those long, hard space cases? I had a space case. And you'd write on it. So you'd either write on it with tepe, the tepex, <laughs> <laughs> with the tepex, or like a permanent marker. Yeah. And then to take the tepex off, you'd open your scissors and scrape and, it. And off. like when you'd open up, when you'd open up the space case, there was a little plastic tray, and in there would yeah. be your color pencils, your yeah. scissors. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I remember that writing is... on my pencil case, low flood. I even had like, it went like, it was like a little pulse thing. And then it was low. And on top of the F, there was like horns and a I worry about halo. You Ooh. If I was not Those yet. were the days. <laughs> the days of what? Oh, I'm saved. Thank God I'm saved. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. When I told you know about this, he was like, I don't know what that is. Why did you do that? That's weird. What is this? How many of you ladies had a book with song lyrics? <laughs> I had a book with song lyrics, but just because like I used to play the guitar and like. No, how many of you had uh, a book with song lyrics just to learn the songs? Oh, just you guys would like. So where would you be listening? the song and pause oh back in the day pause. you had hi-fi so when the radio used to play a song you put your cassette in the bottom of the hi-fi player press record have your song and then write down your words i think the first song in my first song book was in grade four and it was dilemma ah, mm, ah. how many of you did dances in your class like choreographed dances so i did one i was part of a crew we were what called was your crew name Glitter <laughs> Look at you guys handing out cookies. Yeah, no, glitter I was girls. Morning to it was, let me see if I rem remember their names. Girls. Simone, Danielle. Danielle lives in New Zealand now. I think we're Facebook friends and she has two children. <laughs> and then me. So I don't know why. Show. We were in grade three or grade four and we had all this like children makeup, like a little small plastic bag thing with a little green nail polish and like a little green like the eyeshadow thing and we put it on one day and we performed in front of the junior primary in assembly what? with our song it was like the naked. school allowed this yes the principal liked us so we performed in front of the whole school or something why? silly like that like why it was rough anyway then in grade six and grade seven um michaela leanne michelle i can't remember who else in grade names, six or grade seven, names, guys. we did a choreographed dance for my humps. Why did you have this in your school? Yes, we did. Who got married at break time? And then by end of the day, you guys were divorced. You yeah. didn't know the word divorce, but you weren't together anymore. Who got married at break time? Let us know. Don't be ashamed. I'm just gonna say it. It was all my white friends that <laughs> always would get married at break time. But also, what was really funny and cute now that you think back was how you'd like a girl, you'd write a letter and you couldn't deliver it to her. You'd have to give it to your friends and your friends would go oh not to her, but to, to her friends. friends. Yes, oh, I wanted man. to get married. I even dated a white boy in grade six for one day because I wanted to get married at break. But it didn't last that long because I didn't want to kiss him. Um, speaking of letters, I had a boyfriend. I say all these boyfriends very loosely. I had a boyfriend, I still have him on WhatsApp by the way. What? In grade, in grade, grade four or something. So we'd write on letters because you know like if the person doesn't look at you then that means that you're not dating anymore. So every time something small would happen, we'd write on a piece of paper, what's your answer? With a block for yes and a block for oh no and give it to them. So every him and I would always pass these these letters around and eventually it'll just be like we won't talk the whole day. Because obviously like boys and girls never really used to play together back in the day. Cooties. But then we used to go to each other and be like, what's your answer? It was um, so funny. It was, cute. it was so funny. Shame. I still have one Rock on. <laughs> Apple Munchie. Who remembers Apple Munchie? That was the snack. They used to sell it at Kiki's season, old primary man. school. Like normally it would be outside school. Ah, oh, Foxy! Salt and vinegar Foxy's. Foxy Salt snacks. and vinegar Foxy snacks. Yeah, those chips are dope. Oh. I like the barbecue ones, but yeah. I remember in in primary school, I think we had um, we didn't have blazers. We had tracksuit jackets. So you'd put your tracksuit, you zip it up, but then it'll fold underneath, and then yeah. you put your foxies inside. Not the like empty, but you put your jackets. To glass. Yeah, but you should do that. Mayo. Who remembers <gasps> mayo? They the sell it at some oh, They sell it at some so I that saw Leanne so Lamini post about it that time. How many of you remember those hairbands with balls on them? When they you literally told me this and you were laughing so much. Yeah. Tokyo, what do you call that? Love in Tokyo, I don't know if that's what they call it. No, no. Please give us the name, guys. I don't know guys, if that's what they call it. I don't know, maybe it was my mommy that used to call it. I don't know. I have a butterfly clip. Oh my, oh my word. I used to wear butterfly clips just here. Like in the middle. Oh, for <laughs> okay, what? Woodstocks, yeah, I couldn't wear them. Like, I'll, they would probably use them. Oh, themselves. yeah, or I used to wear them. Like witchcraft. <laughs> I don't know, guys. It was intense. Woodstocks were cool. Yeah. I have one for you that I added onto this list. 
the other day. So weird now that we think back like the, the amount of things we were. Yeah. Should we go get wood stocks? Oh. I'm so in. <laughs> I have one, two. Webtrick and Napster. <gasps> Napster dot win dot are you? <laughs> oh man, on a yeah. Mozilla V360. And then if you had the V3 razor, you were a baller. Razor was the thin one, eh? The razor was the thin no, one, yeah. I never had oh, that. cell phones, guys. I had a V360. I had a chatterbox that used to open this way. <sighs> yeah. I had one of those Nokias. It was my father's. I obviously took it afterwards. The Nokia, like it was a little laptop one. I don't know if you remember that. It was the a, one like that they used brick. in the, the dilemma the music that, video. I think where so. Where she sent him a text on Excel. Yeah. Yes, exactly. What? Exactly. <laughs> wow. And then the last one, which my sister said that's not what it's called anymore. NSNT. Oh, natural science and technology. technology. What were some of the things you built in technology? Did you build a bridge? I feel like everyone built. Bridges. Everyone built a bridge with jelly tops and toothpicks. Yeah. Nice. We did a circuit. My uncle made a circuit a for me. A volcano? I Is that technology? Yeah, that's what I'm we're talking about. I'm just thinking it's a volcano. What? I would, never did. Uh, why would that be technology? I don't know, but we built a bridge. I remember with jelly tots and toothpicks. Like we, we made we, circuits. We always say this. I wish they would teach you how to do your taxes. Yeah. How to like. We made fruit roll. Who was making fruit roll now? We made paper mache lampshade. Guys. For what? What was the prepare reason? Prepare children for what life. What was the reason? What was the reason? Was the reason? Hey. Prepare uh, them for the world out there. That was my blast trap out the whole video. <laughs> I don't know. Bye. That is the end of this video. Bye. <laughs> if you guys enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Yeah, comment down below. And if you're not subscribed, please do please subscribe, subscribe and click that notification bell. Yes. And um, I know I said for the period of lockdown, I'll be posting three times a week. Uh -huh. However, um, apparently lockdown is supposed to be easing at the end of May. So this week is the last week that I'm posting three times a week. Going forward, I'm going back to my regular schedule of what is my regular schedule? She's forgotten. Tuesdays, Tuesdays and Fridays, Fridays at 12.30. Thank you. Bye, Tim